Today I'm going to give a brief explanation of how to perform a valve adjustment using the backside method instead of the traditional method with the curved feeler gauge. This is an engine from a 1979 uh, 911SC. Um, as you're probably aware, the first thing you do before any valve adjustment is ensure that the engine is in top-down center position. As you can see here, I've got the marks aligned and the distributor pointing correctly. So that means that cylinder one is ready to be adjusted. So here's the upper rocker arm, and then down here is the lower one. Now traditionally, you would use a feeler gauge. Traditionally, you would use a feeler gauge such as this to reach in behind the rocker arm and wedge it like so. And after lots of wiggling and futzing, there we go. You get it in and you move it back and forth and use some sort of description of the feel, which is relatively subjective. Uh, this method, the backside method, isn't subjective at all. Instead, you need simply two straight feeler gauges, one at two and a half thousandths of an inch and one at three thousandths of an inch. Instead of reaching between the tip of the uh, rocker arm and the valve opening itself, we're going to reach down here where it presses against the cam. So what we want to do is we want to adjust the uh, screw here until the distance between the foot of the cam and or the foot of the rocker arm and the cam allows the two and a half thousandth gauge to fit and not the other. So I'm going to take my two and a half thousandths. I'm going to reach it down in here so that I can see it come up through here. And I'm going to ensure, as you can see here, that it can go in there. Then I'm going to take the two and a half. Th then I'm going to take the three thousandths, which I have cleverly marked with the red here, and I'm going to reach it in the same spot and ensure that it will not go in. And of course, if they both went in, then I would need to tighten, and if neither would go in, then I would need to loosen. In the same way, I reach in from the top to access the uh, position for the lower. And so here again, two and a half thousandths goes in, uh, and three will not. So that is how you do the backside method, a two and a half thousandth feeler gauge and a three thousandth feeler gauge. Um, obviously it's a lot easier with the engine out of the car, but uh, both methods are, and I think this is better when it's in the car as well.